big story that we're tracking today it's the second such meet in the span of the last 24 hours pakistan high commissioner to india abdul basit has met huriyat hardliners in the national capital on the occasion of pakistan's national day headlines today has learned that recently released hardliner masrat alam was also invited for the talks but he didn't attend them all our disputes are problems through dialogue including the core jammu and kashmir dispute in order for our two countries to move forward, it is incumbent upon us, incumbent upon the two countries to talk to each other because we cannot resolve or settle our problems by use of force. Our problems can only be settled through peaceful dialogue. बैठक अच्छी रही और हमने बात की इस बारे में कि एक अच्छी शुरुआत हुई है दोनों मुल्कों के दरमियान कश्मीर के लोग और हुरियत इस प्रोसेस को सपोर्ट करती है हम इसको स्ट्रेंथन हुआ देखना चाहते हैं और हम ये महसूस करते हैं कि अब बहुत टाइम हो गया है साठ पैंसठ साल हो गए हैं प्रॉब्लम जो का जो है हर कोई ये महसूस करता है कि कश्मीर की जो समस्या है ये एक पोलिटिकल प्रॉब्लम है इसका कोई भी मिलिट्री हल नहीं निकल सकता इसका कोई भी हल जो है वो वायलेंस के थ्रू निकल सकता इट्स नॉट सॉफ्ट paddling because uh, they are celebrating their uh, day so they have invited various people there and they would have been invited uh, by pakistan pakistan embassy uh, this high mission strategic affairs editor gaurav savant now joins me live for more gaurav two meetings in the last 24 hours the narendra modi government had cancelled foreign secretary level talks in august last year after Ms., uh, mr basit had met uh, with kashmiri separatist leaders ahead of that meeting uh, they had ignored calls by the indian government not to go ahead with it what's changed in the last 6 months well, the Modi government is facing tremendous criticism. The Congress has accused the uh, Narendra Modi government of this, uh, uh, you know, flip-flop on uh, the Pakistan policy, on Kashmir policy. But my sources in the government tell me that whatever talks are happening with Pakistan is happening at the multilateral level, at the SARC level, and Pakistan is a part of SARC. As far as bilateral talks are concerned, India is raising the issue of terror. Pakistan continues with its rhetoric on Jammu and Kashmir being the core issue. As far as India is concerned, Pakistan-sponsored terror remains the core issue and India wants Pakistan to address that first uh, before there's any forward movement. So as far as talks or resumption of dialogue is concerned, what is the ground reality? India and Pakistan haven't resumed dialogue on any of the core issues. This is only talks about talking about talks. So about how it, they can actually be resumed. As far as Pakistan is concerned, India says address a core issue of terror and we will talk. Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Mufti Mohammad Saeed yesterday gave out a very strong statement after the Samba and Katwa attack telling Pakistan that they need to rein in these non-state actors. As far as Masrat Alam is concerned, he has turned down Pakistan High Commission's invite to attend uh, their national day. So all of this, uh, you know, points to very interesting developments. At the same time, uh, you are right, Narendra Modi government is in the dock with the Congress alleging a whitewash or a, or a flip-flop as far right. as Pakistan policy is concerned. Also, Gaurav, you know, you've been speaking to your sources in the government and you've been tracking developments uh, on this story for a while now. Uh, is it fair to say that all of this is is perhaps you know happening in the shadow of some coalition pressure that the BJP is under given the fact that the BJP PDP alliance in the state of Jammu and Kashmir one of the you know uh, uh, the, uh, the conditions for that alliance to go forth was the fact that talks will resume with Pakistan well, this is a major allegation that the BJP government uh, uh, will have to respond, the NDA government will have to respond to. Uh, the Congress is saying that the government has, uh, uh, has buckled under pressure, the government doesn't have a Pakistan policy. After claiming that they will take hard action, the government is all but desperate to resume dialogue. This is what the Congress is alleging and, and uh, several strategic thinkers are also uh, you know, saying what has changed because Pakistan-sponsored terror continues as we've known from the latest Samba and Katwa attacks also. Absolutely. As far as as far as the Mufti Mohammad Said government is concerned, you've seen a strong statement come out of the state government. A strong statement, perhaps from the centre, is uh, is what the community is uh, the strategic community is looking forward to. That's point one. Point two. What is extremely significant here? There is no resumption of Indo-Pakistan bilateral talks. The resumption so far right. is only at a multilateral level. All right. No resumption of bilateral talks, but resumption of talks at a multilateral level. But clearly, the Modi Sarkar facing stiff criticism 
from not just the opposition but also from defense experts and analysts many questioning why exactly the modi government is engaging given the fact that they had taken a strong stance against pakistan speaking with separatists just 6 months ago that move 6 months ago uh, was uh, welcomed uh, by a lot of people in the community and outside gaurav savant is going to continue to track developments on that big story for us thanks gaurav for joining